Oh yeah, continuation of the story. Let's go. She must have taken a liking to the place. No, no, she didn't. Why you lie? It just sort of happened. You lie. <sighs> I thought anyone but you would pull such dirty tricks. There's nothing dirty about it. You should have seen this coming. What are you after? Silence. And a few secrets. What secrets? I'll let you know later. Papion? Yeah? What should I tell Burningham? Hmm. Tell him I'm in the middle of an operation. Affirmative. Dorothy, was it? I can see what you're doing, and it's not right. You know that, don't you? Of course. Uh... Let's go, Commander. Papion is a hostage. If we tell anyone about anything we saw here, we'd be putting her life in jeopardy. Although she hasn't told us exactly what it is she wants, it's clear that Dorothy wants some kind of information from the Ark. Yes, probably. She can hold her own. I don't foresee any major issues. Dorothy needs her to remain unharmed if she wants to get what she's after. Let's go. We need to get back to the Ark before we can do anything. From Eden's perspective, they're doing the right thing. They want to keep this place a secret just as much as anyone else. While they may not have gone out of their way to help, I'm sure they didn't do anything to stop it either. Well, standing here debating isn't helping anything. Let's go back. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. They're good people. Worrying that much about your safety. I wonder how they'd react knowing that you were here of your own volition. You're right. They're good people. Too good to mesh with people like you or me. Hmm. So, should we continue where we left off? Where were we again? <laughs> Are you really going to make me say it out loud? It's a topic I never tire of discussing. I wouldn't mind hearing it again. Take me to the Ark. As an honored guest. What good would that do me? What do I have to gain? You would have brought back a runaway pilgrim wandering the surface. Just think of the publicity. Isn't that enough for you? I suppose so. Then what would the Ark gain from welcoming you back into the fold? I can give them what they've been so curious about. The one thing they've been dying to have but could never obtain. I will give them all that Eden has to offer. We're back. <laughs> home sweet home! It's good to be back. Oh, how I've missed you, sweet nectar of the gods! A.K.A. Carbonated Soda! Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Soda. Would you please be quiet? I need to study. Studying? For what? There's a live presentation on some new weapons being broadcast today. As a scholar who specializes in all things fire power related, it would practically be a sin for me to miss it. Sounds to me like you've got a funny idea of what constitutes studying. Says you. Uh, huh? The TV isn't working. Give it a few whacks. People still do that? Are we living in the Stone Age? Well, considering how old that TV is, I'm not surprised it's on the fritz. I'm gonna kick back and relax while watching some Tetra Connect. Hmm? What the... Why isn't it working? Commander, I attempted to report to Shifty about our return, but nothing is going through. What? No one trusts us, that's crazy. I tried other lines as well, but they're all blocked. I can't get anything through to the Ark. I wonder what's going on. Is something going on in the Ark? Oh wait, is Dorothy back already? Roger. No way. Okay, hold on, let me 
we do these ones first. Commencing operation. Leave the support to me. Head out. Okay. I didn't detect anything out of the ordinary on my patrol. Holy. Hmm? <laughs> Are you finished with your patrol as well, Miranda? <sighs> yes, everything is normal. All right, let's head out then. Um, can we stop for fish sticks on the way? <sighs> Fine. Um, um, It's awfully quiet today. There was an event commemorating one of our past military victories. That must be where everyone is. That certainly makes our patrol a whole lot easier. <sighs> Far from it. Most crimes happen at times like this. Oh, jeez, that's right. I totally forgot. <sighs> if you keep hooting and hollering like that, you're gonna scare off all the criminals. Is that right? Then I'll yell as loud as I can. Wait, don't. Yeah! <laughs> uh... Holy! Did my scream just break the dome of eternity? How would that even be possible? Then, what was that explosion just... Uh... Huh? Rapture detected! Taking it down! <sighs> Holy... This... This... I know. Just stay calm. I can see that, but... This is the Ark, not the surface! Was this happening while we were gone or what? Uh, in the ark? Miranda, snap out of it! Hey, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. You want me to go there? Oh, cool. 163. I should keep going for a while. Oh yeah, the whole arc got like ambushed. 
but ruptures as well. appears to be closest. I'll plot a route there. Commander? Something weird. The Ark has never been invaded by raptures. Never. It's believed this is because the location of the Ark has never been discovered. But that's not the case. The raptures have known the Ark's location for a very long time. Chatterbox made a deal with me in exchange for him not attacking the Ark, I was to provide him with me case now that Chatterbox no longer exists it is unclear whether the deal still stands okay We can take one passing through downtown and another along the perimeter of the city. Engagements with raptures are inevitable with either option. I predict the route passing through downtown will be slower going because of the buildings. There are more areas for enemies, really, to have, so it could also be more unpredictable. Well, yeah, circling around the perimeter that makes sense. Is the safer option, and there's less chance of us being ambushed. Which route should we take? Roger. Okay. I knew that's the path you would choose. I don't see why you bothered presenting another option. Let's go, Master. Damn! How many of these things are there? There may be more here than there are on the surface. Enemy concentration is exceedingly high. This may take longer than expected. Yeah, because they were in the cutting, right? You're safe. What a relief. Commander! The Ark! The Ark! Get a hold of yourself, Miranda. Now's not the time to lose your faculties. But the Ark! The Ark! The Ark! Hiya! Miranda, what is our job as Nikes? Uh-huh. Answer me. You and I, what are we? We're police officers. And what do police officers do? Protect the Ark and the citizens in it. Hmm. Precisely. With the way you're acting, do you think you're in any condition to protect the citizens and keep the Ark safe? Uh... I... You won't be able to protect anyone if all you do is stand there shaking like a leaf! Snap out of it! Uh, I... I will! <sighs> Good! Holy, what happened here? Uh, sorry, but we don't have the details either. Miranda and I were wrapping up our shift when all of a sudden this massive hole appeared in the Dome of Eternity! So it has something to do with the dome breaking down? I think so. What caused the hole to appear? I don't know. Like I told you, it came out of nowhere. After that, rapture started pouring through. The last thing we remember was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lord Class Rapture. Once we came to, we were assessing the situation and that's when we ran into you. 
Plenty of buildings and roadways have been totaled. But thankfully, I don't think there have been any human casualties. At least not according to what we've seen. There could be bodies out there we simply haven't discovered yet. <clears throat> it's not all doom and gloom. The emergency power is running properly, so there's that. We've been hearing a lot of gunfire off in the distance as well. The other Nikkeis must be giving those raptures a hard time. We've got to act fast, though. I doubt this is the only area that sustained damage. Hmm. If only we could get a better idea of the extent of the damage. Communications are down and visibility is limited because of all the smoke. Oh, where are you guys headed? Oh. Hey, that's right. That's definitely an option. Yeah, Enoch might be able to figure a way out of this. Okay. ACPU will come along. Nice. He swarms of raptures. Dang, this place is swarming with raptures. Miranda, stay behind me. Don't poke your head out for a sneak peek just because you're curious. Blood just barked. That's crazy. Miranda? Huh? Oh, sorry. It's just that your hair was so soft. I nodded off for a bit. Listen carefully. We wouldn't stand a chance taking those raptures head on. You sure? I think we can take them. No. There are a lot of advanced models among them. We also want to avoid causing any collateral damage to the surrounding buildings. Rappy, is stupefying the rapture still a feasible option? Stupefy? Yes. If a human or Nikkei behaves in a way outside of a rapture's normal calculations, they essentially short circuit for a moment and can't operate properly. I believe there have been a few recorded instances of that, yes. <laughs> Good to know. Wow. You sure know your stuff. That's because I did my homework. But you two rarely get a chance to go up to the surface. That may be true, but raptures are still our main adversary. This is vital information well worth knowing. Suddenly I feel very inadequate. All right then. Who's willing to give it a try? You can divert their attention, then I'll run up on them and shoot them down. I'll do it. Hmm. Any volunteers? Hey, why are you acting as if you didn't hear me? Uh, because you'll end up doing something goofy and screwing up. No way. I'm confident I can do it. I know a way to make anyone stop dead in their tracks. Hmm. Are you sure? Positive. Hmm. Okay. okay, I'll leave it to you. Just don't go overboard, okay? Of course! Freeze! ACPU! Me? Polly! They aren't afraid of the police! They've got no respect for the law at all! Ah, something goofy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, everyone. It's okay. I can see what she was going for. Please, don't even try to make sense of that sad display we just saw. I mean... Get lost. I'm busy. Uh, no comment. All clear. Thankfully, they didn't use any high-powered troops, so we kept the collateral damage to a minimum. I guess Miranda actually succeeded in diverting their attention to a degree. M mission accomplished. If you even think about pulling another stunt like that, you'll be in big trouble. I'm sorry. Let's continue. Commander. The root. Hmm. Didn't find it? I can't blame you. Navigating this place is a nightmare. I thought I knew the layout of downtown back to front. But I can't make heads or tails of anything now. 
Not with all these collapsed buildings and dead ends. Don't worry. Miranda can solve it. You bet! Huh? We've memorized all the alternative routes to take whenever certain roads are blocked. I'm sure we'll be able to find a way around any dead ends we come across. Miranda is a member of the traffic police. So she knows these streets inside and out. She's also familiar with all the emergency routes. Wow, amazing. Okay. Kind of crazy that like, you introduced to ACPU after you introduced to like directions? the goddess squad and all that. <laughs> Miranda is great. That's right. I'll lead the way. Just follow me. Hey, Polly. Hmm? Yes? I've been curious about this for a while, but doesn't the Ark barely have any cars? That's right! Only extremely affluent citizens can afford a vehicle. As a result, not many automobiles are manufactured in the first place. Then, what exactly does the traffic police do? Mm hmm? Especially when there's no traffic to direct. Oh? Hmm. I'll admit, I'm impressed. We've been making great progress since we've been darting from one road to another. It's slow going, but at our current speed, we should reach Enoch within two hours. Nearly there. We haven't seen any humans this entire time. No, not yet. They must have been evacuated or obliterated. One or the other. Anise. I'm just saying, I expected more carnage, that's all. Communications check. Positive signal. Oh. oh. Did you get the communications to work again? Not throughout the entire arc. I've only created a hotspot in the immediate vicinity. Colliding information. Please wait a moment. No, not that. To be more precise, it is rather unlikely that was the reason. Commander? Did you say something? Enoch, can you give us a casualty report? Currently, there are no casualties. Uh, what? I mean, yeah, something I'm relieved, happened. but how is that possible? Ten minutes before this event occurred, an evacuation order was issued for all humans to make their way to the emergency shelters. Thanks to the event celebrating the T-Squad's victory, most of the humans were concentrated in a single location, thereby streamlining the evacuation process. Um, uh, we never heard of any such order. It was not sent to Nikes. What? The Nikes were required to stay and fight off the invading raptures. This is the purpose for which they were created. Okay. Sure, but that doesn't mean you couldn't give us a heads up. I'm afraid this was beyond the confines of my capabilities. My duties are to track the movements of the people and monitor their psychological state, as well as the condition of the shelters. There was no time to notify any Nikes, as by the time my calculations were complete, there were only ten minutes remaining until the occurrence of the event. How are the other Nikes doing? I am in the process of finding that out. I will advise once I have additional information. Collating information. Collation complete. Everything that is happening in the Ark is recorded. Analyzing the information as to why the Rapture entered the Ark took some time. I have now completed the analysis. I will share this information with you via video playback. After this, however, you must come meet with me. There is something you must do. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. I refuse. 
Plunk, you don't have to be so strict. I'm going to introduce to them. Noir, just keep your mouth shut. I'll take care of this. But it's not wrong. Can we at least discuss it? I feel I can communicate better with your sister. Think about it. What do you have to lose? Is Hedonia proposing they stay in Coin Rush to offer protection? The moment a gang like Hedonia sets foot into Coin Rush, the entire place will go down the drain. Hedonia's reputation is. Wait, is that Fushuan, by the way? You clearly have no idea how this world operates. You think we'll be standing around decked out in big black suits while we mean mug the customers? You dolt. We'll make it so that we look like customers ourselves. That way, we'll be able to spring into action the moment we sense something's amiss. Doesn't that sound nice? I said it once and I'll say it again. We do not need protection. This place is the safest adult playground in the entire arc. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of stories recently about all sorts of low lives hanging around here. Begging for free money, griping about machines not giving a payout when they hit the jackpot, demanding their money back after that piss water you call your house cocktails leaves them running for the toilet. From the sounds of it, I thought this place was overrun by all manner of miscreants, but perhaps I misheard. <sighs> Plunk, let's at least hear her out. We have been going through a rough patch. Rouge and Jean still aren't back from training, and it's a lot of balls for just the two of us to juggle. If this keeps up, Coin Rush will become a den of iniquity instead of a fun palace. I certainly don't want that. <sighs> Neither do I. We both want the best for our customers. You two willing to listen to my pitch now? I want to know what you expect to get out of this. I already told you. Everyone from Hedonia will disguise themselves as regular customers and position themselves throughout the casino. All I ask in return is that you throw a few bucks to my constituents so that they can have a go at the machines. You know? So they don't get too bored. If anyone gives you any trouble, we'll resolve it in-house. The end. And what exactly would that involve? Spraying the place with machine guns? <laughs> A fine suggestion, but one I doubt the other customers would appreciate. We'll sidle up next to them, all nice and quiet-like, show them what we're packing, and that'll be that. No rough stuff required. What will you be showing them? Do you really want to know? It may be a little hardcore for a little cute, cuddly bunny like you to handle. Uh, uh. <sighs> so there won't be a commotion and no one will get hurt? Of course not. No one will know anything even happened. Not a single soul. Except for our intended target. Who will get the scare of their lifetime. <laughs> How much are you asking for? What do you mean? There's no way Hedonia would provide protection for free. Isn't there something you want? Hmm, that's true. And you are right. Nothing is free. Let me think. What would be good? I suppose money is the most convenient option, no? How much do you want? Let's say, 60% of your profit margin? What? Not a bad deal, right? Let's shake on it. Absolutely not! Huh. Why not? This is a killer deal for you. 60% is absurd. We'd fare better simply letting the difficult customers have the run of the place. If we let you have that much, it didn't negatively impact how we ran the casino. Forget maintaining the machines, we'd barely be able to pay our employees. So, so that will never work. work. What is this? Why are you repeating each other's words now? 
Because we're sisters. <laughs> you two crack me up. I understand if you need some time to think it over. But you should definitely consider it. We refuse. Careful. You might end up regretting this. We can talk about this another time. So it's kind of weird hearing Bushman's voice saying like normal words. Don't get time for class to begin. Hey there, yeah. my big eared friends. It's been a couple of days since our last chat. So what do you say we have another conversation? Uh. Apparently this place is getting overrun with unseemly customers. Word on the street is, you're really hurting financially. I even heard someone snagged your top prizes and ran off with them. That must have put a real dent in your wallets. That's a shame. A damn crying shame. Why is she she's not the one doing this? Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm being sincere. I really dig this place. Anyways, since you all work so hard to entertain us, I'm offering a little discount. Just for you. All I'm asking for is a mere 40% of your profit margin. Surely that's low enough to make you happy, right? After all, 20% is unheard of. <sighs> Sakura. It's just like you said. Huh? What's the leader of Simakai doing here? I don't see a teacup or a dessert tray in sight. Or are you dipping your toes into the entertainment industry? Rosanna, I know the hooligans who have been terrorizing this place are under your employ. Oh, you knew. I know you. You'd resort to anything to get what you want. I prefer to see it as being willing to do whatever it takes to get what I want. Semekai will be overseeing the protection of this establishment. What? Oh, interesting. The deal hasn't been closed just yet. So... You're fighting fire with fire. Is that it? Well played, ladies. Well played. Is that what you thought I was going to say? You must be dreaming. Listen up, madam. Who are you calling madam, bitch? You think this is some kind of game? Oh my god. Do you have any I... idea what I went through I'm to dying. make this happen? I know all too well. Then why are you doing this? Because the deeper you get into something, the more you can lose sight of why you got into it in the first place. Hmm. I get that. However, why are the Simakai getting involved? This is my business. I didn't realize being a full-time thug was considered a business. You have no right poking your nose into my affairs. I don't need a reason. Not when it involves helping someone in need. So this is all a charity case for you, Miss High and Mighty. You gonna protect this place for free? I don't recall ever saying we'd offer you our services pro bono. Huh? We'll do it for 30% of the profits. <sighs> Did you say 30%? <laughs> so that's how it is. Fine, then I'll make an offer of 30% as well. Sakura? Don't tell me you're gonna cast us aside after seeking our help. You're in dire need of assistance, and we have the necessary skills to resolve your predicament. When you require other people's skills, that typically comes at a price. Surely you knew that. So, which will it be? You could also split it and go 15% each. We don't need either of you. We will protect the casino ourselves. Is this a joke? 
I already told my people that they had the job. You should have seen their faces. They were over the moon at the thought of getting a steady gig. Do you know how pissed they're going to be if I tell them it's not happening? <laughs> they might end up taking out their frustrations. At Who the cares? Casino. Are okay. you threatening us? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I'm merely saying they come here to play some games in order to let off some steam. That is what this place is for. Isn't it? We'll report this to Mustang. Go right ahead. As for what will happen to you afterwards, I can't make any promises. B -b Blanc? What should we do? Uh, um, okay. Hey! What the hell is going on here? Oh boy. <laughs> This is going to be a problem. Okay, so we're... Okay, again, I don't know what... Should I begin? Should I go over there? What's going to happen from here, but okay. Are they saying that... Maybe these gangs, they're going to... Yeah. Queen started a feud with the 777 squad. Yeah. What do you think happened? Coin Rush, the casino owned by the 777 squad, is one of the biggest money makers in the entire arc. But it's not just a casino. It's more like an adult theme park packed with different kinds of recreational games. In other words, it's everything Mustang has ever dreamed of given true form. A veritable mecca of the entertainment world. As for Underworld Queen, they're the squad in charge of the arc's entire criminal underbelly. In the world of organized crime, no one is higher on the totem pole than them. Despite their illicit activities, they always manage to evade persecution, making them a group of special interest to the ACPU. Having said all that, this is rather unexpected. Neither Rosanna nor Sakura are running gangs that are strapped for cash. Why do you think they started having beef with 777? Yeah, what's... Okay. Rosanna! Sakura! You don't have to shout. Hey. What's all this I hear about you two extorting this place for protection money? What are these shenanigans? Some kind of petty after-school special? You ought to be ashamed. Calling yourself part of Underworld Queen. Hey, watch it. Don't talk to me like that. I suggest you shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Hasn't your precious peony association been accepting protection money as well? Sure, but we get it in store goods. We protect them, and we receive some food in exchange. So you get a little cut of their produce, is that it? Yes, and not so much that it would affect their profit margins. This place mostly uses cash. That's why I didn't think it'd be a big deal to receive our payment in cash. There's a world of difference. What is it? Getting cash payouts is something only thugs do. Not decent people. It never ceases to amaze me how painful it is speaking with you, Moran. Well, at any rate, just stop what you're doing. Mustang didn't entrust this task to us just so we could bungle it up in spectacular fashion. If you want to be a noble Templar, then start acting like one. Moran. <sighs> what? Don't drag Mustang into this, and don't bring up crap like Templars. You and I eat at the same table. Who are you to bring up Templars with me? Instead of bickering, let's help each other. <laughs> That's pretty rich. Coming from the one who sicked their cronies on this place to extort them. Then again, for Hidania's warped sense of right and wrong, maybe that did make sense to you. Sounds like a real group of lowlives, if you ask me. What did I tell you about watching how you speak to me? Tell me. Rosanna, when did you become a two-bit thug? You dumb bit. Stop. 
We are both embarrassing yourselves. There are too many eyes here anyway. You shut up. Don't give me orders. <sighs> Blanc. Noir. Don't worry. The Peony Association will protect you. Now all three gangs are involved? How pathetic do you all think we are? We'll do it for free. What? W really? Sure. If we're helping someone in need, our services come free of charge. Such is the way of the Templar. This is driving me crazy. Why don't you tell her that? Oh my god. I would, but I doubt any of it would get through that thick skull of hers. What? Are you talking to me? I'll be the first to say I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but at least I'm not a bum. That's enough. Follow me. We need to talk. Huh? Why don't you say it here? Just follow me. Don't make me say it again. Come on, let's find somewhere quiet. What is it with you two? Something's going on, isn't it? You're not trying to exclude me, are you? Would you just shut up and follow me? Oh. Okay. Turn on the ventilation. Damn. They were already inside. I didn't expect them to play dirty like this. What, what are you talking about? What's going on? Blanc? Noir? What's the most expensive item you have here? What? Why are you asking? There's no time to explain. I'd say the jewel necklace in the center display. Got it. What are you doing? We've got ourselves an unwanted guest. This is what they get for crashing our party. Are you actually gonna shoot someone? It's a suppression bullet. Don't worry. Uh, you got him. No, I missed. The smoke. This is no normal smoke. Tisk. Our prize! It was stolen! Uh, first things first, let's confirm if anyone's been injured. I thought they'd move as a group. Never figured they'd use a solo operator. My body is going numb. There must be alpha particles mixed in with the smoke. It looks like the plan was made with us in mind. This is all your fault. You've been way out of line lately. You basically advertised our presence to anyone and everyone who cared to know. Shut up. This is how I work. The necklace was stolen. Should be easy to pawn for cash. How's that? Jewels are a dime a dozen on the dark net. Tracking a specific gemstone would be next to impossible. But not entirely impossible, right? Mm-hmm. That's the first sensible thing you've said in ages. I'll search the dark net. Even if they attempt to offload the jewels in pieces. We should be able to pick up the trail due to the sheer volume. Then I'll go out to the outer rim and pound some answers out of people. I'm sure I'll turn up something. Hey, you got anything for me? I don't know exactly what's going on, but it sounds serious. I want to help. All right, you head to the Ark and gather information. What kind of information? Hmm. <sighs> Heavenly Ascension is orchestrating a large-scale terrorist attack. What? 
We received some intel. Heavenly Ascension were gathering materials to be used for an attack, with Coin Rush as the primary target. Rosanna and I put on that little charade to stall them and prevent it from happening. If that's what you were doing, why didn't you let Blanc and Noir know? Don't be dense. What do you think they would have done if I told them? They would have reported it straight to the central government. <laughs> Planning an attack on the Ark is a crime punishable by death. They'd be willing to burn the Outer Rim to the ground if it meant getting rid of Heavenly Ascension. There would be countless innocent victims. So you two came up with that entire act on your own? Our actions needed to be perceived as a criminal organization operating out of greed, and not someone attempting to thwart terrorist activities. Why didn't you tell me? Not to brag, but it's not unheard of for the Peony Association to offer free protection. You simply don't have enough people for the same offer to seem feasible. For every one member you have, we have 30. <laughs> how can I trust you with such an important task, when I had no idea how many agents Heavenly Ascension would send? Although we certainly didn't expect them to send just one person. Still, we could have acted together. You've got spunk, and I admire that. But it won't be enough for the type of task we're dealing with. Wait. Did my coming here ruin everything? That remains to be seen. As of now, you haven't ruined anything. We have to put a stop to their terrorist plot. Make it seem like it never existed. That way, no one gets hurt. Got it. So you need me to scour the dark net, right? <sighs> Outer Rim for me. Sakura has the dark net. You, go to the Ark, idiot. Okay. Got it. If she doesn't, go there. That's funny. Okay, let's see. Three you hours. You secretly met with high-ranking officials from the central government? <sighs> You're out of it. <sighs> Let me repeat the question. Did E.H., your leader, meet with high-ranking officers from the central government? Yes! Was it her intent to surrender? Go crawling on her knees and swear that neither she nor any of you would ever dream of carrying out any terrorist attacks? That you'd all live like model citizens from here on out? To, to make a deal. What kind of deal? <sighs> I don't know! I only know that they met. I don't know anything else. I was told it didn't go well, so... So... I... So? I, I was told we needed money. The meeting didn't go as planned, so you needed money. Did she go to the central government hoping for a handout? No, that can't be it. The order of events isn't adding up here. I heard myself that you needed money for your latest attack. But you were telling me, before that, the leader of Heavenly Ascension herself met with senior government officials? What the hell is going on? Pipe down, will you? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Your plan didn't have anything to do with terrorism. It was something else entirely. That's why EH met with the central government. Well, 
At any rate, there's no way to know what she talked to them about. So, let's change the line of questioning. Who told you that you could make a quick buck at Coin Rush? How'd you know they had something so valuable? Through our own intel. Don't bullshit me. Your intel is garbage. There's no way you'd be able to gather any reliable information on a hotspot like Coin Rush. Not with your current manpower and resources. Someone else must have been involved. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's a text that was sent to Sakura and myself. Uh -huh. Looks like I'm on the right track. Someone gave us fake intel indicating that your organization would attack Coin Rush and planted the idea in your heads to do exactly that. Viper. That malicious woman. Why would she stir the pot like that? <laughs> Interesting. Whoops. Guess we went a little hard on him. Guys, Oops, he's take dead. him to the hospital. You know. Make sure he makes a full recovery. Huh. They used us as bait. Us. The ones protecting the Outer Rim and everyone in it. We approached Coin Rush under the pretense of offering them protection to keep the members of Heavenly Ascension out of harm's way. But then amongst the chaos, E.H. herself took that opportunity to steal the necklace. The central government will suspect all of this unrest is due to infighting amongst the different gangs. Heavenly Ascension, the entire organization will be ruled out as a suspect. Huh. What on earth is Exotic trying to accomplish? Well, they hate humans, so... Trying to kill all of them? Or something? Because mm, the whole thing was like... Was the commander was to give them freedom, but like... It's not the kind of freedom they expected us to put them. It's be interesting. Loki kind of forgot about that whole class. thing Better with exotic reload. that happened. Okay. We've noticed a large number of previously unregistered firearms and bullets being sold through the dark net. How many? About 200 rifles. That many. That is peculiar. You know what's even more strange? All the guns sold are meant for Nikkei's. For Nikkei's? They have lighter recoil and increased durability. While a human could technically use it if they wanted to, it'd be far from comfortable. In other words, not the kind of weapons that would be used for a terrorist attack. Correct. Can we find out who purchased them? I'm afraid not. As for the jewels and the necklace you said they would be selling, it's simply too wide a net to cast. They're impossible to track down. The dark net is just too vast. If I were to guess, I'd say that it likely found its way into Heavenly Ascension's hands. It's very probable, but I can't say for certain. Anything else? There is one more thing. A massive bomb that didn't have any buyers for the longest time recently got sold. The purchase date coincides with when the Nikkei firearms were sold. You said it's a heavy-duty explosive. Yes, but what's particularly interesting is what it's designed for. It's an excavation bomb. The arc is already completed. And with the construction of the outpost on pause, this bomb is virtually useless. You can't even use it against raptures since its explosive output is 
concentrated on what is directly underneath it. I can't imagine what they'd possibly want it for. You really can't find everything on the dark net. Just about. If you've got the money, you can find whatever you're looking for. None of the sellers have any compunction about selling to terrorists or anyone else intent on using the merchandise for shady purposes. This probably sounds strange coming from me, but that really sounds like a cesspool of bad eggs. That's what makes it so fun. I doubt excavation bombs could be used for a terror attack. You'd think so, but it looks like Heavenly Ascension bought it anyway. There must have been a reason. I do have one question, though. Something underneath the ark? Oh, wait. To blow up the thing, right? But how do you know so much about how the dark That's works? how they did it. So they can't let the raptures in. It's a hobby. A hobby? <laughs> sure. I get a lot of enjoyment out of monitoring dangerous items. Safety first, right? A smart person only takes risks when they have a way out. So please, don't for a minute think that we're on the same side. You know, she's kind of cool. I see you're a rather extraordinary individual. My apologies. Thanks for the info. This is typically something we'd handle in-house. But apparently, we don't measure up to someone who engages in this recreationally. Thank you for the compliment. Of course, it benefits me to have... Semakai in my debt. I won't forget about today. Remember, you're always welcome to our help if you need any. Oh, trust me. I won't forget. My employees will show you out. I look forward to our next meeting. See you around. Hmm. None of the items they purchased are suited for a terrorist attack. Could they be planning an attack using Nikkei's? No. What, they're gonna give the Nikkei weapons to raptures? For one thing, over 90% of Nikkei's are incapable of even laying a finger on a human. It just depends who Heavenly Session is working with. Like with Heretic, right? Because I'm guessing that's what's happening. Is something not meant to be used offensively. Almost as if. Allow, let me you skip this game, man. Oh my god. Everybody I'll show you the way. Okay, I guess I have to do it. Go over there. Okay. What's happening now? Two hours. What? When I was more doing yes. the research. I'm certain of it. One of my childhood friends is part of Heavenly Ascension. They told me personally. E.H. must be beside herself right now. So where are they taking it? To the Outer Rim, most likely. But how? There's a massive barrier separating the Outer Rim and the Ark. They'd never let anyone with that many weapons pass through. I heard about it. They'll be using the elevator. The elevator? Yes. As you know, there are many elevators in the Ark that lead up to the surface. While there may not be as many of them, there are also elevators that can go from the Outer Rim to the surface, and vice versa. Most of them are no longer okay. operational, but some are still active. First, they plan on taking so an elevator from the go Outer up, Rim yeah. up to the surface. And then come back. And then taking another elevator from there, down to the Ark. To avoid the border. Would that work? There are thousands of elevators leading to the Ark. There's no way all of them are well protected. I don't mean that... The surface is crawling with raptures. Is it even possible for a human to traverse that place? You know what it's like in the Outer Rim. They never got anything from the Ark, so they had to turn to the surface in order to get by. They may not be able to take down a rapture, but they probably know all sorts of ways to avoid them. For Heavenly Ascension, this isn't even an issue. So since EH got what she wanted, that must mean she's coming back. Yes. We have to stop her. 
but why? I think what no, Morris V sounds familiar. Sense. Who does she sound like? I understand that, but we can't let her do this. Do you always have to argue like this? Where is the elevator that EH mentioned? I'll send you a text. Since you're so good at finding I was thinking Black Swan, but nah, someone else. You can put your navigational skills to the test. <laughs> you're not coming. Give me a break. It's clear there's going to be some kind of altercation. What good would it do if I were there? Everyone knows I'm no fighter. Gathering intel is my specialty. Huh. <sighs> Whatever you say. Send word to Rosanna and Sakura as well. You got it. Okay, cool. Okay. <sighs> Time to go. He H. Elysian Harper. Moran. You know not to call me that. It's a name I left behind long ago. Where are you going? I'm going back home. That's a good idea. How about you leave those bags you're carrying now? Sorry, but I'm gonna be needing these. They're weapons that can protect us. All they're going to do is get you killed. What makes you so sure? I... Because... Listen to us, you idiot. If you carry those around, what do you think is going to happen? Is it bloodshed that you want? Because that's what you're going to get. You guys were fast. Long time no see. It's been a while since the Underworld Queen were all in the same place. Shut up and listen to me. If you insist on using those, Heavenly Ascension will be designated as a terrorist group armed with advanced weaponry. I never said anything until now because all you ever had were obsolete weapons that didn't pose any threat. What you have there, however, changes everything. Changes everything. It doesn't matter that That's those crazy. are DK weapons. What matters is that you possessing those makes you a credible threat. That will make the central government consider you public enemy number one. They'll wipe you all out. No matter how long it takes. And it won't be just Heavenly Ascension. The entire Outer Rim will be reduced to rubble. Thousands of lives will be lost. <sighs> I met with one of the deputy chiefs. When I said I had something serious to discuss, he penciled me right in. Huh. I requested that they station Nikkei's in the Outer Rim as well. Why Nikkei's? I was scared. When I heard that the Raptures had gotten within spitting distance of the Ark. And when I heard that Matisse had wiped them out. How not a single soul in the entire Outer Rim was taken into consideration throughout the entire process. That awakened a fear within me unlike anything I'd experienced before. I had forgotten. Forgotten who our real enemy was. Why we locked ourselves in this dank underground prison. So I begged. Dank. I pleaded with the deputy I'm chief five, I'm while sorry. he sat there sipping on his tea like I was invisible. I said that everyone in the Outer Rim just wanted to live. They're people too. So could he please station a few Nikkei's there? If he did, I would dismantle Heavenly Ascension and fade into obscurity. They could even close the barrier if they wanted to. As long as we had a chance to live. You know what he said to me? Enough! <sighs> then, he tried to kill me, but I escaped. Oh. He never intended on listening to a single word I had to say. As far as they're concerned, the Outer Rim isn't a place where people live. 
It's a garbage heap. That's where we've been living. Who? Who said those things? Moran, answer me one thing. Are we human? Of course you are! You're all human beings! Living, breathing human beings! Then why are we treated like this? They are the ones who aren't human. <sighs> I needed a fail-safe plan. Something to fall back on. These will be the weapons that will protect us. What about the bomb? We will secure our own elevator. We found one with a good location, but the shaft is blocked. We'll use the bomb to break through. Are you really willing to go that far? Yes. Oh. No one cares. Wait, so this civilization did nothing? We care. We can help. Underworld Queen, me, Rosanna, Sakura will all help. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. You ungrateful turd. Why do you think we went through all of that rigmarole back at Coin Rush? What are we doing here right now? You think we came here to get front row seats to our own friend's suicide? You're just following Mustang's orders. To protect the Outer Rim. By force, if necessary. Yes, that is true. We were sent here to quell the conflict. To erase any trace of it, so that we can ensure there'd be no loss I mean, I don't like this type of voice where they're like oh. whispering. Our just like, is to just open your mouth. Violence with violence. And you're the one about to ignite that vicious cycle. You do understand that shooting you a very you breathy stand, would be the simplest way to resolve this entire issue, don't you? Drop your weapons. Turn around. Pretend like none of this happened. And take the elevator back to the outer rim. We'll handle the rest. Please, choose life. The future that you're hoping for will surely come. On my own reputation, and of my gang, I promise you, it will come. I and the entire Peony Association also promise. Fine. I'll try my best. So drop your weapons and get lost. <sighs> when will we be finally treated as humans? Will it ever come to pass? When we can escape this dark, miserable place. Do you think that day will ever come? It will. I promise you, it will. <sighs> I believe. <laughs> Get down! Oh, oh. Nah, bro. In no way. Who? Who's joining the party now? Oh my god. Well, don't kill EH now. Shit. Who was it? 40 minutes. You've been hitting the shoulder. Don't move. For crying out loud, I told you to aim for the head. I even turned off your inhibitors. Then again, oh, it's the deputy known chief. To expect anything from mass production models. You must have kissed a lot of asses for them to let you come out this far, deputy chief. Well done, Underworld Queen. You followed my orders to the T. You stalled her just long enough for me to arrive. Huh? What are you talking about? Who gave us orders? I did. To you. I heard the terrorist leader was on the run. So I ordered you to buy me some time. Bullshit! We never received any such order! Moran, he's just saying this to cover his ass later. I assume this entire conversation is being recorded somehow. We never received any orders from you, Deputy Chief. 
Why would we ever accept an order from you anyways? Everyone knows you've never had a single Nikkei under your command all these years. <sighs> what then? Are you saying that you were helping the terrorist escape? Terrorist? Who are you talking about? Don't play games with me. I'm talking about that subversive piece of filth lying over there. How did he know we were here? Huh. <laughs> Do you know what this elevator is used for? We often use it to dispose of any subhuman filth and dump them into the outer rim. So it was blindingly obvious this is where I would find you. After all, loathsome flies are naturally attracted to excrement. <sighs> is there a traitor among us? No. Only five people knew about this plan. Huh. Viper. <sighs> We've been bitten by a venomous snake. I must admit, very well said. I want to talk to you. Honestly, I do. Fire. No. I feel I must remind you. When you're in our domain, you need our permission to make any kind of move. No exceptions. That includes you, Tobin. What is this? Are you protecting this terrorist? Your knee case! You should be protecting mankind! Now you're siding with a known terrorist, threatening the entire Ark? This is treason! Stay back, all of you. You mustn't get yourselves involved in this. Sorry, but we can't do that. All traitors are to be executed. None will be spared. Contact Ingrid. Ask her to send Extrinsic immediately. Tell her we have some irregulars who have betrayed their benefactors. Extrinsic. So they finally finished it. Go ahead, call them and tell them to make it snappy. I've been dying to meet these Reapers everyone's been talking about. Rumors are typically grossly exaggerated. Right. Yes. <sighs> you shouldn't have made the mistake of coming here personally, Dopin. I made these explosives myself, so I'm afraid they're not all that powerful. The Nikes will live, mm, why? but it'll still be more than enough to kill you and me. You filthy terrorist. Back off. I'm going. E.H., wait, you can't! We want to live too, Moran. See you in another life. Huh? I put a lock on the elevator doors. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Then we'll die together. You coward. You're the only one getting blown up today. Fire! Grab Harper. We can't let her take those explosives up to the surface. First things first, we need to get them to stop shooting! No, first the bomb! No. What the? What's happening? Stop the elevator! I said stop it! How could that lock have come loose? I had it fastened tight! Outer rim! Send troops to the outer rim! Wipe them out! <gasps> Jackal. I, so much happening. 
This is an educational experience as like, well. What's ex what the like what side are they on? So confused. Hey, okay. damn. Five minutes. Was it luck? Or Nah. Doesn't matter. As long as we have this weapon, we can protect our home. Rather than standing idly and awaiting our demise, these weapons will allow us to end things on our own terms. Right. It's better to end things this way. I'm tired. Huh? What's that sound? Hello, the excavation don't. bomb. How the... So that's how that happened. Creating a passageway okay. that led directly to the Ark. There's a All John the D again. Gathered near the detonation site, having heard the explosion. That resulted in the current situation that is still unfolding. Okay, so they did use the to do to do that. It? Okay. Aren't you supposed to be some super smart AI? You record everything that's happening. I overlooked it. Huh? I didn't consider how each individual step could potentially lead to this conclusion. I suppose I am at fault for not sufficiently grasping how the human mind works. So, you make mistakes too. <laughs> there are too many raptures here. There's no way all of them just happen to be in the immediate vicinity. As you all are well aware, not long ago, a large swarm of raptures was called to the Ark. Mm. Yikes. While the remaining forces from that conflict, whoops, <laughs> raptures gathered in the surrounding area, a Lord class rapture emitted a calling signal. That resulted in the substantial swarm which you currently see descending upon the Ark. You have 300 meters until you reach my chamber. We'll discuss the rest inside. Okay. She but did HR die though? Or what was her name? E E H. Follow me. What did H stand for again? I forgot. Illusion something. Oh, it's really close to my level. My power level. You know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it the same way. If you want me to get on it, okay. that didn't come out right. Welcome. Hold up. Let me stand up. Hello! Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm, nice to meet you. Go about them. What's wrong with you? It, it's an honor to meet the uh, owner of the Ark. I do not own the Ark. I am merely an AI, which oversees its daily operation. Oh, is that right? Ah, yes. Pertaining to your chances of coming out of this alive. Six hours from now, this entire situation will be resolved. Sorry? Mighty Tools has been dispatched to where the hole was made, and is diligently making repairs. Absolute nice. and Matisse have also been assigned to that area, nice. to prevent any further influx of raptures. No, no, Ronald, Everything just is dark. proceeding quite smoothly. All available Nikes have been called to fight against the raptures. Of the Nikes currently in battle, Nick. 52 have sustained moderate injuries, while 114 have sustained minor injuries. There are no major injuries or fatalities as of yet. Power and other infrastructure are being restored at a rapid pace. All communications throughout the Ark will be back online within five minutes. After the immediate threat is dealt with, all damages will be repaired within 34 days. Would you like to look at the detailed repair plan? Various autonomous well, I mean, armaments have been installed throughout the, the one thing that you have to think about, right? We have developed an environment 
which allows these armaments to be deployed within a moment's notice. True. I have made all necessary preparations for the worst case scenario, which this is decidedly not. Therefore, our response has proceeded relatively smoothly. Amazing! What a relief! When I first saw that gaping hole in the Dome of Eternity, I thought we were doomed. Enoch, why did you call the Commander to come see you? Oh yeah! Didn't you say the Commander had something to do? Yes. The Heretic Nihilister will soon be entering the Ark. Oh cool. Nice. <laughs> what? Nothing crazy or anything. While conducting a scan of the surface to identify any additional invasive forces, I detected a rather large airborne sphere of immense energy approaching at great speed. Upon further analysis of the sphere's size and movement speed, I can confirm with some certainty that it is the Heretic Nihilister. If she maintains Nihilister. her current speed, neither Matisse nor Absolute will be able to stop her. She will find her way inside the Ark. Use yeah. this place as a bunker, and do battle with Nihilister. I will lure it to you. You are the only ones who have managed to beat a heretic in battle. You are the only ones we can count on. Even Polly and Miranda? <laughs> Intrusion confirmed. Heretic Nihilister has entered the Ark. I will lure it here using a calling signal. W wait right now? <gasps> <sighs> Yeah, definitely not having PTSD what are you or anything. I'm focusing on my breathing. Think of it as tantric firepower. Commander, have the Vapaus ready just in case. Uh, Miranda, stay focused. Y yes. Engagement in T minus three seconds. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah. What? I came because I heard the call, but it was you. You all certainly are living high on the hog. The surface is in flames, and here you all are, gorging yourselves with wine and frivolity. You'd have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to miss that explosion that just occurred. I came to see what all the hubbub was and saw there was a gaping hole in the ground. Naturally, I was curious to see if the Ark was all it was cracked up to be. <laughs> I thought yeah, about go. that, but I decided against it. I like this place more than I thought I would. I think I'll stay. Trust me, you'll change your mind after being here for a few days. <laughs> this feeling. Was it here? The pitiful chatterbox in Indibilia. Indibilia? The name given to the prototype which eventually became Material H. I think I might like to take it back while I'm here. After all, they are precious colleagues of mine in a way. <laughs> oh. What makes you think you got what it takes? What? So that's how they come that back. That bullet of ours almost put you six feet under. You don't have any friends to help you this time around either. You sure you're going to be okay? It's high time I repay you for what you did to me. Do you have any idea how painful it was extracting that poison out of my body now that there aren't any other commanders around or those pesky pilgrims i will burn you to the ground the Valpaus, fire it now <laughs> <laughs> just joking man i got you good i assure you your That's death funny. will be a painful one. But like, why didn't we shoot them? <laughs> wow, that really does work. Fire the bat bows. Pew, pew, pew. Fire away. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Incredible. 
So are we? Or? The heretic is paralyzed with fear. My flames will consume you. You pathetic meat sacks! I will incinerate and reduce every one of you into a pile of ashes! She stopped zooming in, goddamn. Okay. So will this be like the same boss fight? Looks like it, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't get time for class to be Come on, we can defeat them. Camo, you have to hit those circles if you don't. He's just powering up, let's give it a couple of seconds, and let's hide now for a little bit until the fire goes away. Yep. Oh no. I was just into the now we're back. Don't get time for class to begin. Would have been better if I had like the whole water thing, but ah. let's keep the momentum going. Nice. Oh yeah, stage. I forgot this. Oh man. You know, kind of low. Don't get time for class to begin. Come on, we can defeat them. I don't have any shield repairs or cover repairs against me. Oh. Okay. I was being too paranoid, I guess. Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. So my Nicky music is so good. What? What is this? You fucked my lister. Something isn't right. Is it jamming? Could it have something to do with the Alva particles? <sighs> Whatever. Who cares? Okay. None of this matters when I'm going to burn it all to the ground. Dragon breath incoming. No, you're not. Everyone take cover. Fortifying defenses. Emergency coolant injection. Burn! Shit, that looks cool. Fucked up. Youch! If I'd known to get this hot, I'd have brought some marshmallows. What are you jabbering about now? This again? Talk about being a one-trick pony. At least we got some really? solid cover, so we're a okay. Yep. Cover temperature increasing. Complete failure imminent. Eleven seconds remaining. Does that sound solid to you? I guess not. Die! Code released. Status update. Unidentified object approaching at high speed. Pilgrims? <gasps> Pierces for Nylister. Sending her limb. Okay, I see. Hello, everyone. I am Dorothy. Holy. I am a pilgrim who wanders the surface. But Holy I have Dorothy returned Art. to save the Ark from destruction. Why? <laughs> Oof, jeez. Okay. Cool. 
Slash chapter 22. Nice. Mm -hmm.